Hi, I'm Leslie Meredith with Breakbulk Events and Media in Shanghai at Breakbulk China, and I have Mr. Wang from B Cell Win. BVSDN. Okay, all right. Um, who was has just finished on our tank panel. And what we understand is maybe 15 years ago, tanks, not a big thing, not yeah. as popular, but this industry is growing. And I understand that you manufacture the tanks. So yes. this must be a good time for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so before you see the tank, is because the project the scale is smaller now, the project is uh, very large, right, day ah, by day. Okay. So our tank is also very large. For last year, we finished one project in China. The capacity is uh, uh, 85,000 cubic meter. It's uh, very huge. And uh, the height is 31 meter. That is huge. Yeah, it's, it's about 11 floors. <laughs> oh my gosh, well that's a good way to put it. That is amazing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so when we finished this project, we should uh, transportation completely. So it's a very big challenge for any logistics company because for all the host, the flat, everything, we should finish all the challenge before the fabrication. Otherwise, we have no chance to update. Right, that's exactly right. So I know I have heard from logistics people that they are so appreciative, so happy to be brought in early. Yeah. Right, so that you can manufacture the piece yeah. that works with the available equipment for the transportation. Yes, you are right. You see, because uh, for the so huge equipment and the skid, before we uh, we fabrication or the design, we should consider the road from the shop to the end to the end Europe point. Maybe you should go to a river, by sea, mm -hmm. by road, because we don't know the challenge on the road. So before the design, before the fabrication, the engineer and or logistic team should investigate, investigate where is the challenge on the road. But for sea, it's okay. We can have the solutions. But uh, the big challenge is on the road, for example, uh, from uh, port after port to the job, job site is two kilometer or three kilometer. You have some roll, some pipework, some tunnel on the road. Mm -hmm. We should finalize the tank size. Yes. During the transportation, we can't impact the city operation. No, that's right. <laughs> yeah. You can't change the tunnel, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because we, for the park, for the city, we can't uh, change the city. Yes. On the city, change our side. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So that planning is so important. Now, um, are you moving, are, are your tanks moving throughout China, outside China? What, what are you seeing? Uh, both in China and outside China, actually, each project we go outside China. So before the project start, uh, we I take our team to go to the site, control site. Okay. Uh, the team including our uh, engineer and a logistic company and a construction installation company. We the big team, not a small team. We should uh, go through the job site to investigation, to invest the, the road detection and the job site condition to determine what's the uh, suitable size and the suitable weight. For example, uh, three years ago, we have a project in Africa. It's a very huge tank. We finished the transportation from China to job site, take two months. But wow. at the job site, they take 10 months to install this tank. No! Why so long? Because this tank is very, very huge. But the local government, uh, they want to, how to say, they want to 10 kilometers, they can see this tank. So they need to require this tank, it's a vertical type. <laughs> <laughs> vertical type, when we send the delivery to the job site during uh, installation stage, the owner, the can't find one crane to install this tank. 
Oh no. The whole country have no oh, such capacity no. to oh, install. Oh my gosh. So they rent one crane from outside of their country. They take six months. Oh, that's amazing. Well, th we have often hear that the last mile is the most difficult. Yeah. So I think that's a story about yeah. that, right? Yeah.